Hello and welcome back to Honkai <laughs> Star Rail Reactions. Uh, welcome. If you are new to this channel, if you haven't seen the previous ones, I have been doing reactions to, I do a lot of reactions to anime and TV shows, um, One Piece on my Gentle Watch's One Piece channel, but um, I've also lately been doing reactions to the Hoyaverse games, um, specifically Genshin Impact and Honkai Star Rail. Um, so with Genshin, I've done the character demos, I've done version trailers, I've played the game itself, and I've been posting all that stuff on this channel. Um, and with Honkai Star Rail, I have currently seen the character demos and the version trailers. I have not played the game yet. Today, we are going to do the next most requested thing for Honkai Star Rail, which is these Myriad Celestia trailers. Um, I don't know what they are, I'm assuming that they're gonna be like sort of 2D, like moving 2D cinematic video type things, but I don't know, because Myriad Celestia doesn't give me much information to go off of, but in my head, when I, people were talking about that, I was just imagining they're gonna be like, you know, little, I guess like character teasers in, in Genshin, that sort of thing, but maybe telling a bit of story, I don't know. So um, I'm excited to see it because these, like MiHoYo can be very good at um, these sorts of, of uh, animated trailer type things, and I, I find them very entertaining. So I'm excited to get into them. We're gonna try to, I think we're gonna do all of them today. I know there are also animated trailers, which are a different thing, and there aren't that many of those. I was thinking about putting them in the same video, but I'm not going to for a, a couple reasons, and I think this is gonna do it well as its own video. But just so you know, my plans for the future, and make sure if you want me to do more Honkai Star Rail stuff and more Genshin Impact stuff, support the video, like the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, um, and and I will I will be doing more if people are still interested in it, because I'm really interested in it. My plans for the future, just so that you guys know, I think next week I should be posting a Genshin Impact gameplay video. And at some point after that, I do actually want to do... I want to do the animated trailers, but I also want to start playing Honkai Star Rail for the first time. And um, actually put some footage up of that. I think it would be a lot of fun, and uh, I, I, I really want to try it. I've been, like, holding off and holding off, even though... Watching these trailers has made me want to try it so badly, but I'm holding off and I'll, I, I want to get around to it and record it for you guys and put it up on this channel. So um, if you are excited for that, if you want it, make sure to support me and make sure to subscribe so that you know when it pops up um, because you, you don't want to miss it. And, uh, and when it does pop up, make sure to watch it <laughs> so, that, uh, so that I know that it is something that people are continuing to be interested in so I can do more of that sort of stuff. Because, I mean, as long as you guys keep liking Star Rail stuff and the videos are, are you know, worth my time, I, I absolutely will do this stuff because I love, I love this MiHoYo, MiHoYo games. I think they're awesome. So, um, anyway, that's a lot of talking, but I just thought I would give that, uh, that sort of context and that overview at the start of this video because, uh, otherwise we're just going to be focusing on these trailers um the other tiny thing i have to say is that the this playlist that i have it's the official celestia trailer playlist um there is one i think one trailer the first one that we're doing this one it doesn't seem to be the oldest one it seems like it's a, like, they might have accidentally put it out of order, or they might have done it on purpose, I don't know. So I'm just going to do it in the order that the, that the uh, playlist is in, even though the timestamps are slightly different. But if, um, if some of these, or if one of these is out of order, if they do have an order at all, um, you can blame MiHoYo and not me. <laughs> so it's it's not my it's not my fault. I don't think it should it shouldn't matter. I assume it doesn't matter. But anyway, let's jump into this Myriad Celestia trailers. Here we go. All right, I'm so excited for this. Here we go. This is Myriad Celestia trailer, the Japella Rebellion, scene 47. Now I know basically nothing about the story, other than the stuff I picked up from these trailers. So I don't know what to expect here. Kafka. Stellaron Hunter. Okay, if we're starting with Kafka stuff. How do you plead? Yes, please. Plead? She's on trial. The crimes you have committed are beyond pardon, but the Japella Brotherhood respects every individual to the afterlife. Admit your guilt and embrace your punishment. Oh my god. I'm listening. 
How do the Stellaron hunters plead to the following accusations? Stellaron hunters, okay. You breached the premises of the Atuin Universal Auction, manipulated the guests, decimated the artistic treasures under the gaze of a devout audience, inflicted mm -hmm. monetary damage amounting to over 860 billion credits, and absconded <laughs> with the auction item. How do you plead? Guilty? Guilty? Yep. <laughs> not a devout audience. You cool, infiltrated man. the cyber prison of Inupis, stole the Sigma Rod to deactivate the firewall, allowing a flood of data demons to enter reality, consequently propelling the world toward a judgment day, all in order to take <laughs> the meta code. The meta code? How do you plead? I admit it, but those data demons deserve a taste of freedom. <laughs> this is a you great trailer. World, Golconda, disseminated the Philosopher's Poison Virus across all colonies, causing 46 million inorganic entities to turn into rampant machines, and stole the Steel Core from Golconda's point of gravitational equilibrium, silencing the entire world. Holy shit, please. those are pretty intense crimes. Oh? Sounds like a page out of the Japella Brotherhood's playbook. But sure, we took the thing. <laughs> she but does not seem kids. worried. The lore 51 Stellaron. I assume she doesn't th Cyber think she's actually getting Planet punished for it. The beer point incursion. And so on. A total of 46 criminal cases. Do you admit that all these malicious incidents were the work of the Stellaron hunters? <laughs> Why are they animals? Me, it seems like the Annihilation Gang has their fingers in quite a few of these pies. I wonder if they're actually I animals. Confess, it seems you forgot one though. <laughs> the Japella Rebellion. Oh! Ho, 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 ho! <gasps> well, that's why she's not worried. <laughs> oh, I love her. She reminds me so much of Makima from Chainsaw Man. She's more playful than Makima is, but you should really stop playing with your food, Kafka. <laughs> I know. Next time. Oh my god. This time, it's already too late. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Is that the end of the trailer? Yeah. Well, that's so good. What a start. I really like the the I mean, it's it's a great setup for a trailer. It's just oh, we're just gonna list off your crimes and we're gonna show those crimes sort of like the the um the uh landscapes the the environments of those crimes, um. But it's it it was it was really cool and I liked her attitude there. I felt like I didn't really need to know the uh much about the story to get what was going on in that trailer, which is nice. Um, it just, it gave me a great idea of the sort of character she is. Although, you know, like if I hadn't already seen her character demo and the version trailers and stuff, even if I didn't know anything about her, um, I still would have gotten a perfect idea of what that character is from that trailer. I love it. Okay, anyway, next up is Fables Among the Stars Part 1. Part 1, okay. Let's make an exchange, shall we? An exchange of memories. I dreamed of a ray of light, of a crystal chalice. Whoa, that's gorgeous. The light that shone from that crystal spoke to me. Listen to the parable of the stars. The nameless one, the pathless one, arrived from the edge of the wilderness clad in stellar radiance the voice actors they get go now march unwaveringly into solar wind at the end you will return to my embrace but march towards the light oh my god the women of honkai like their voices are gonna stick Yet in my head that light began to burn piercing through the clouds as a golden death holy Towers shit this crazy and the people fled for the sun was soon to set to meet with vicious destruction. That's a sick design. But be not dismayed, O oh child of the world. Arceus! The oh. rock's arrow will descend to purge the wicked abominations. You must follow the traces left behind in the storm's wake. The celestial one guards their secrets, plotting out the roots that connect all things. But they are oh, they've silent. got like 
like a shroud of mist like, um, at the center of the human. universe. Listen to the silence, and you will know where the stars are resting. Let your staff strike the earth, they say. Once. And again. He has long nails, oh my god. The tender sprouts will grow to the sky. And multiple and falls hands. And branches will rid you of sickness and poison. Well, every, most people have multiple hands. Three Blind or more. Your eyes, they say. That the approaching darkness may strike no fear in you. Let it not burden your soul. I love the look of the your space imagery in here. Dry. The colors are gorgeous. Push open the majestic gates, they say, and lift up the tablets of lapis. Read them aloud. Let the fire that forged the bricks and the ones that laid the walls foundations be known. So are these like the deities? Then, they say. Oh, you who have reached the end. Enter into the Whoa, paradise that envelops all. Join this great choir. Whoa, feast. the multiple heads. That's a really Look sick design. The mariners and temperance. Listen to the infant in the mirror. The waves as they enter the dream. The tipping of the balance. The shapeless prince. And finally, measure the world against yourself. And take all such things to heart. This is the path you should walk, they say. Lucky Billy. Depart once more. <laughs> Countless shooting Back stars streak the sky tonight. Should you choose the right one, it will carry your wish to thousands of distant worlds. Jeez, man. What a what a crazy trailer. I mean, I was I I swear I was paying attention to what she was saying. Um, and yet, obviously, it's a difficult thing to fully follow the story that she's telling, um, because it's so, like, abstract. Um, but, uh, but the visuals, man, like, there was some cool... I really loved those. I don't know if they're supposed to be, like, the deities or whatever, but I really loved those designs for them. It, it felt like, like, it, they felt like they are real deity legends if that makes sense like like this design right here this seems so interesting and um and specific of a design that like i wouldn't be surprised if it was based on like a real a real legend a real um What's the term for it? You know, a real, a real myth, a real whatever. Um, because it's so specific. But if it's not, and I, I doubt it is. But if it's, if it's not, then that's really good design work because it, it just, it feels like a, a sort of uh, person of legend that has existed in all time for all time. Like people have drawn different interpretations of this this uh woman this this goddess um but yeah like the puzzle pieces coming off the three heads like the expression or, or uh, the fucking space outfit it's all so cool i love it um yeah anyway i like and i mean same with all the ones that they showed there i don't want to just like i don't want to just focus on her she was my favorite one but this guy here was sick like this is a cool design as well i love the like floating arms and um, it sort of also gives me like Kronos, like the color scheme is very Kronos from Hades 2. Um, and, uh, and so, yeah, he, he's like a cool, sexy anime Kronos, you know? <laughs> All right, let's do, uh, Myriad Celestia trailer, history of the Zhanzhu, Zhanzhu? Oh, I'm so bad with Chinese pronunciations. Seven Arbiter Generals. So uh, it's going to give us some history of... The, the thing is, I do want to say, um, generally, like, legends and and 
um, histories and god, god pasts and gods and all that stuff tend to not appeal to me in terms of the stories of them. Um, with that being said, Hades 2 was... Hades and Hades 2 are incredible, and Hades 2 is one of my favorite games now after playing it. Um, but, uh, but, you know, generally they don't super appeal to me. So, um, I'm, I'm going into this sort of stuff with a grain of salt because it seems like it's going to be focused on stuff that I, mythology, that's the word I was looking for. Like sort of mythological figures, um, aren't really my forte, but we'll see. I regret to admit it, but the Sien Zhou have very few legends. I still love the visuals of this shit. what room is there to create legends among those who do not die? But there is, is this one 3D? distant legend that can still be recounted. It looks the really good. The story of the Cloud Knight Generals. Cloud Knight it Generals. began 8,000 years ago when the emperor of an ancient kingdom yearned for both legacy and immortality. It sounds like he Dimple's voice Sien actor Joe from Mob Psycho. It might be. Into the astral seas. And through the boundless stellar reaches sailed great ships in isolation softly veiled. After voyaging 2,000 years, the ships discovered traces of the divine. Who dis? The plague's author revealed themselves and offered an immeasurable lifespan. But the blessing was a curse. Okay. Those who exceeded their lifespan became the Deathless Doom. The Deathless Doom? Oh. And thus the Alliance's long and peaceful years. Oh, that's fucked. Lost in sickness, treachery, blood, and tears. At the very precipice of the Sienjo's existence, the Rainbow Arbiter descended and redeemed the crumbling Alliance. For the next 5,000 years, the Alliance voyaged the vast cosmos, purifying the universe under a divine mandate. Heading the six ships were the vanguards of the hunt, the seven Arbiter Generals. Behold at the Still, martial side. I mean, six it goes without saying, but now. sick visuals. Fierce and swift is Fei Xiao. The Merlin's claw. Okay. Strong and righteous is Hua Yen. Hua the Yen. flaming heart. And that's just a flame. Cautious and sophisticated is Yao Kuang, the seer strategist. Okay, so it's. I thought it was going to be showing us like creatures, but it's Mighty showing us their their the symbols. The Seishqueller. Mysterious and fair is your Wu, the Patina Justice. It's like the Earth Kingdom. Wise and brave is Jing Yuan, the divine foresight. Jing Yuan. Wait, was the Jing Yuan one of the characters? Wield extraordinary power. Maybe all of those were like characters we've seen in the Jing Yuan demos. Of the Law Fu is admired by friends and feared by foes. <laughs> With skillful sleight of hand, the trap was set. Oh my god. The Borson soon, with crushing loss, were met. <laughs> yeah, is An this... army must be of one is heart this and Where skillful sleight of hand is little use. The Cloud Knights entrusted their lives to me. I shall not fail them. Glory to the Shenzhou! Glory to the Cloud Knights! Glory to the Shenzhou! Glory to the Cloud Knights! The hunt is with us! Cool. <laughs> Quite the story, Master Gong Shu. Gong Shu. Okay, alright. Pretty cool. I I that is the sort of thing that it's like it is giving me mythology on a world that I don't even know the basics of the world yet. So getting that heavy mythology, like I do, you know, I, I'm, I don't know what to, to make of it, <laughs> but I did 
at the very end recognize one of the names. I don't now. I have to like, I have to go back at some point and look at the other names and see if they're also like I. I'm I'm thinking like, is it like Genshin in that in Genshin? Some of the playable characters are the Archons, are the, you know, the, the gods of, of their world. So is that the same thing in Honkai? I kind of didn't even think about it for Honkai, but maybe Honkai, you can play as sort of like these these godly figures. Um, I don't know. Anyway, next up, uh, History of the Zhan Shao, Exodus of the Five Dragons. Okay, here we go. I have traversed great lengths seeking a piece of history. The history of long the permanence. Long I too permanence. know little of the progenitor of all dragons. Oh, I like the the inky Before art style. The dawn of history, long traversed the burgeoning chaos, seeking the answer to existence. That dragon illustration that path, is awesome. The revelation of the permanence was unraveled. Then came our emergence. No! Oh, it's an egg. I visited Liara's. A world encircled by five suns. The egg birthed the, the planet. The giant sat overseeing the turning of day and night, the change of seasons, shelter, the lives within. Could the revolution this is awesome. By the timeless nature of one's greatness. Imagine going to space and seeing a giant dragon. Mortality will only breed an unending multitude of malevolent creatures. Such is the fallacy of the plague's author. So then does the permanence represent the continuance of bloodline? I also journey to the ancestral home of the Infernalian people in the land of white embers. The undead dragon Typhon's breath showered flames on the land below. This is an insane, an insane law. Oh, they got the little um, in horns. In the vastness of the, the little universe, antlers. The rise and fall of one race is of little consequence. It is said that the Vidyana formed an alliance with the Xianzhou. And that five elders descended upon the mortal realm to keep watch over the plague moths. Perhaps the permanence is the noble ambition that ensures the safety of the universe. I really like the way they draw the dragons uh, in this. Lune forsook his oath, causing a state of great disorder. The high elders too bear mortal frailties, their heavy burdens ultimately becoming the shackles which bind them. From your perspective. What does the permanence's revelation truly signify? I don't fucking know. As the sun and moon rise and fall, the world undergoes continuous change. So the concept of stability is meaningless. Only by comprehending <laughs> and aligning with the way of the world can one's path I lead to sweet. everlasting existence. Countless new creations emerge when one dragon meets its end among the morning stars. For the Vidyatara, this is the true teaching of the permanence. <laughs> With some cool dragon designs. Life, any endpoint may mark the inception of a new journey. Okay, who's this? And for him, it is no different. Have I seen him? I can't remember. I can't remember if I've seen him in one of the trailers. Cool. Very cool. I did. I loved all the... All the all the dragons in that i thought that was that was very cool once again it was a story that i was i was listening to and couldn't take in very well but um you know i feel like that's understandable and expected watching these trailers um i'm kind of blown away like by the complexity of this universe that they've created though like these these are some insane law videos um that they have for this game i mean for obviously it'd, it'd probably be you know different writers and stuff but like for for mihoyo to have both genshin impact and honkai star rail as well as other stuff like honkai impact i'm sure also has you know lore of its own and um they have a new game coming out that's like the zzz or something but um but like for all of these games to have their all their own like worlds and law and all that, even though there's like some stuff that's kind of shared between them, um, it's still it it's insane. That's it's crazy that they that they're able to come up with all of this stuff and have them feel so different and so fleshed out, you know? For 
like a game that like i i feel like some of these trailers came out pretty early in the game's lifespan they just go super complex like this is stuff that you'd i'd feel like i'd expect five years in once they've like figured out all of the ways things tie in and once they've like got people fully on board but i guess you know with uh honkai star rail i guess the good thing is they had people on board from the start because they'd proven themselves with genshin impact that they can make like a popular and quality game um and that they have the budget to do it properly uh and so honkai star rail they could kind of go hard on the law from the start i imagine all right next up is cloud knight's matrial doctrine on swords don't know what that means but Traveling with you has stirred up my curiosity. Once again. What drove you to pick up the sword at such a young age? The women's voices in this game. Well, I suppose there's no harm in telling you. At first, it was the general stories about the previous sword champion. He told me about her unparalleled skills. Uh -huh. Her unmatched prowess with a single blade. It inspired me that one day I could earn the title myself. Cool. So... It was the allure of renown. I also wanted to live up to the general's expectations and repay him for the gift of his teachings. Where would I be without him? Then you wish to forge deeper ties. I like More this. That, one day, I'll run into battle alongside my Cloud Knight comrades. This is a story I can follow a lot easier. Down those who threaten us, putting my abilities to their rightful use. Ooh! In the end, it all comes back to fealty. What's with all the questions, miss? Yeah, why, why are you trying to qualify it? Don't qualify my desires. I too was once shackled by fame and fortune, impeded by bonds and loyalty. Oh, but in shit. The, end, the sword moves beyond such notions. <laughs> For the sword is just a sword. An instrument determining life and death. Nothing can tarnish its essence. Okay. Only when you've walked the fiery trail and oh. every impediment can you understand the purpose behind every swing of your sword. She's a badass character. All her trailers are so interesting and cool. Do you understand now, future sword champion? I wield the sword to vanquish my enemies. Oh my god. <laughs> and now, our battle begins. I... Wow. Wow. <laughs> that was really good. I loved that one. Um, yeah, that's the sort of story I'm super interested in. That, you know, I can I can understand and relate to that and follow that and enjoy that way more than I can, like, mythology stuff. I really, really liked that. I like, you know, that, that, um, that sort of uh, contrast between the two styles and the, the two um, appreciations for the, the art of swordistry, except, um, except one of them has like a deep appreciation for it and i'm assuming less skill in it while she the one that that was talking at the end um has pr i i'm going to imagine she's got a greater skill with the blade but um but also funnily enough less passion for it but still probably passion for what she does with it but but doesn't overvalue the sword itself which i think is very interesting and great and i mean the way she speaks about it whoo man it uh yeah she she convinced me i'm like she and it's what's interesting is like i i can't tell watching that trailer what her position in the overall story of honkai would be is she an antagonist or is she a protagonist? It's very hard to tell because that could be like an anti-hero type character. That could be a hero, but just like a no bullshit sort of hero. Or that could be a villain, absolutely. And any of them work. I'm going to think, I'm going to guess that she's more of an anti-hero type figure. Um, but I don't know. Anyway, next one is Interet... In 
Man, they love to test me on my uh, English skills. Interastral, interastral peace tour. Interastral. Okay, I understand. It's 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 like international. Interastral. Interastral peace tour selection planning and opportunity. Hey there, you. Yes, you. Me? Okay. For you. The gem filled with endless potential. Hold on to your hats. The IBC's gem identification system will ensure that each and every talent you possess will be harnessed for intergalactic peace. Okay, you have cool. The thrill of adventure coursing through your veins. If so, our marketing development department is rolling out the red carpet uh, just for you. This is cool. The Zoswano Schneider leading the way. A vast number of new worlds will soon be a part of our expansive credit system. This guy is winning me over. Structure and logic. Our business consolidation department offers the perfect stage for you to shine. Cool, this is a, a, a recruitment video. Stars. This department has created a spectacular trade network that's measured in light years. <laughs> Hyper distant delivery systems to synesthesia beacons. What was once science fiction is now reality. Proudly produced by the IPC. Got an idea that's nothing short of genius? Look no further. Our technology department is waiting for you. Cool. And team up with the intelligentsia again. Look like Edie from Mass Effect. Dim before the luminous path of the Amber Lord. Know that the building material logistics department is the sanctuary for the most ardent of followers. Become the cornerstone of our operations. Every stone you place with precision plays a pivotal role. Brit will form the backbone of our formidable subspace bear. There's no place for me to talk. Go beyond the ordinary. And yielding in the hearts of storms, this message is for you. At the strategic investment department, talent is the most precious investment of all. Awesome. Our background, irrelevant. Diamond seeks out the unique and the extraordinary. Those who sit at the table will determine where the wealth falls. This voice act is great. The talent motivation department this is just another division. It's a shining beacon of a power. Cool, I'd be top good at that. Deserves top first. That's why the talent motivation department was established. Every task <laughs> diverse you office pets. serves as the pioneering spark that sets Pierpoint's passion ablaze. <laughs> For those seasoned in the craft and still holding on to cherished dreams, our operations are as everlasting as the sway of ocean tides along the shore. Witness the traditional project department's great supervisor, Arena. Traditional to project the department. The tide on Take the leap. Join our ranks and climb to unparalleled heights. Shape the destinies of myriad worlds and make the history of the galaxy your very own footnote. The this is great. The of the Amber Lord has struck. A realm of endless opportunities beckons. We're waiting for you. <laughs> All for the Amber Lord. Wow. I really liked that. Just a, that was a really creative thing to do. Just a little, um, a little like recruitment video right there. Um, I, I, I like that. I feel like it, I got a good sense of that that could be either like genuine you know genuine cool place to to be or more likely that's like drenched in corporate insincerity <laughs> you know like they're making it seem so great and cool but it's like it's doused in corruption um like that's sort of the vibe i got where it's like a uh you know a, a fellow kids type um video but but it was very cool that voice actor did a great job there i really liked that um okay so next up and uh sorry i'm just gonna take this off just so that i can check our progress here um okay so we we're about halfway through um so uh next up is and yeah good thing that i am only doing the myriad traders today because i'm already 34 minutes into this video <laughs> um, next up is an Nexus system at. There's no way I can pronounce that. Fix Fixe Stroll Garden. Let's see. Let's see what it is. When the Xianzhou people roam the galaxy, they inevitably meet strange beings. So lots of spooky stories start with these encounters. <laughs> On one such occasion, a new Ted Lord's Commission judge received a decree this girl. to subdue a demon. Excuse me? You won. Where are your manners? Ah! Oh, I love this style! 
<laughs> sort of chibi style. Oh, I really like this trailer so far. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Careful. Are you okay? I really like this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you asked for a spooky tale to grow some guts, didn't you? Oh my this god. Is what you on your first day. Why are you shaking in your boots? <laughs> <laughs> I really like this. Put the soul back in. Yep, there you go. I like the way the color popped in. That was great. Where do you think you're going? It ain't over yet. Oh, that's so cute. That's great. I love that was my favorite one by far. I really like <laughs> she's doing courage training to make herself braver. And so she's just sitting there hugging a pillow, watching this scary stuff go through and she can't handle it. I, I love it. I love her so much. I want I want to pull her character. <laughs> she's so great. All right. Transcendent Ran Tunes. Blushing May Blooms. Oh my god. Some of these names. <laughs> Mother, your letters are always welcome. The plum blossoms bloom and wither, and I occasionally catch a scent of loneliness. I once hmm. again am thinking back to the research in my childhood, together with you in no man's land. That comfy cabin, teeming with boundlessly joyous forms of life. Those days are... unforgettable. I understood the fastness of the universe too early. Whoa. Whoa, that's sick. What the fuck is going on? What is that? Lamenting the process of life is the origin of my thinking. Did she like I began to realize take in a vision? I longed for something pure. Attachment involves the insular cortex, which controls anxiety and pain. Was that her origin story that the we just saw? Emotion can be easily broken down. Children will become more well behaved when they receive random rewards. Hmm. When I discovered how easy it was to cultivate a planet, I began to feel <laughs> empty. I increasingly understand that I long for more fundamental research. Hmm. Recently, I've had some different thoughts. At first, I was terrified of its appearance. It is born of wonder, does not resist, and does not grieve. It is the closest thing to the feeling I had when I was a child. Colors in these trailers. Whoa! Life is so colorful, but it has nothing to do with me. I explore the mysteries of the universe and seek deeper answers. Mm. I have nothing to lose and nothing to gain. If life is cultivated and reproduced, you can dissect remembrance, control equilibrium, deconstruct beauty, and reproduce permanence. I will understand life and touch on these conceptions. And perhaps I, too, can become a new... Become a what? Hang on. I need a... I'll turn on the subtitles. And perhaps I, too, can become a new... No, really? <laughs> they purposefully blocked it out. Wow, there's no gameplay here. Worry not, my dear assistant. 
Uh, that's so I funny. Reward you. Man, I thought I. Wow, that that was really sort of. I don't know if it was masterful or if it's like the the way they block out that word. Like I was getting, I was quite invested there. I I don't I don't even know if I was saying much during the trailer. I can't remember because I was I was quite invested in the trailer. Um, I did I liked you know hearing her her story, but like what like the fact that we don't know what she said there, or at least I don't, you know, maybe it's obvious if you've like played the game. Oh, she was clearly saying this or whatever. Um, but like the, the fact that I was like, hang on, what was that? And I go back and I turn on the subtitles and the subtitles also block it out. Just shows like, this is a conversation or a, a word that you are not supposed to hear. Um, but you're supposed to be curious about. So I, I really like that. That actually, kind of gave me chills a little bit like <laughs> just the fact that they purposefully blocked it out made me like like that trailer so much more um so yeah she seems like an interesting character you know she um seems like she understands some important things about the world and some beautiful things about the world but kind of doesn't care about them because she has greater ambitions in understanding like really really deep truths um that like no one else would be able to understand so um, so I do think that's, that's a, a really interesting character. I want to see what she's like in game. Like what's her, what, how does she fit into everything? I don't know. All right. Next up, a night of ever flame scene 33. An iconic planet of festivities. A cradle Ooh. drowning in dreams. A haven for the cowardly. The family has summoned guests for its grand. Look at that 3D. That's gorgeous. Wow. That's gorgeous. As an offering to them. Children of the flame, this marks your rite of passage. Gosh, <laughs> the visuals I here are awesome. Your eyes and showed you music of the strings. Serenade the celebration and hush the harmony into muted awe. It will be done, Father. Whoa. Dura, I set your form alight and taught you oh, the history of that's the blade. creepy. Temper it with sulfur, maim the elation, and let the performer's blood and tears pour into the abyss. As you wish, Father. Katarina, I kindled a flame in your heart and granted you blood of fire. Use your wrath to shatter the preservation sanctum and build their gold to create a statue of our savior. You got it, old man. <laughs> and Constance at last. My most ambitious and exceptional child. There is nothing more to teach. You have a favorite child? Just remember, without Pelicone's midnight hour, strip away all they hold dear and leave naught but the remembrances too. He's got a cool design. <laughs> she won't be necessary. Whoa. Keep them alone. Hello. Katarina, a little pessimism might be wise. Hello. <laughs> what if we all end up dead? Oh, I like her. Oh, I like him too. So when have those on the path of destruction feared death? That's an awesome design. Still, it is wise to plan ahead. All four of these are great. Oh shit! What is our fallback if things become Wait. perilous? Wait. Is the girl part just a puppet? Such a thing does not exist. Destruction is That's brave and heroic. So cool. To life is to delay in cowardice. Relish Pinacone, savor its invitation. Prepare this beautiful dream to welcome its new master from Fedora. If it, Duke Inferno, ever flee Mancha. <laughs> Those those characters are fucking dope. I if if these if these characters are like I mean they seem like a, a family of major villains, right? And if they are 
I want them. I want to I want to watch I want to play. I want I just want more of them. This was a really really cool trailer full of I mean all of these character designs are dope. Really really good. I I adore it. <laughs> I love the idea this like weird creepy thing that's like puppeting this girl. Oh, that's crazy. Like she's like a cool the redhead one's like a cool pirate <laughs> girl with like no like no legs I think like she's just got like robot leg type things and it's dragging around that ball and chain you got this classic like ada ada type you know wide brimmed hat mummy figure and then you got this dude who's like a sick musician with dark sunglasses um I don't, like they're so dark it makes me think like, what if his character's blind you know <laughs> but I don't know that for sure but um but with a sick instrument design as well. Oh man, I loved that trailer. That was great as well. That was uh, that was top three trailers easily um, of of this thing. I think that might have been number two, right behind the um, the scare the ho ha horror one. But the you know that one I just found cute, you know. But in terms of how well made it was, that's up there, maybe the number dazzling one. Dazzling item. Are you looking for its own? Oh, it's her again. <laughs> Allow me to divine. Using your memories as a medium. Okay. She's very pretty. <laughs> oh, this is cool, her going into all of these signs and... Oh, I really like this. Oh, that was Sparkle! <laughs> oh. <laughs> This is an awesome trailer. So creative. <laughs> is that Robin? Oh shit. The truth does not lie. Neither do memories. That's sick. Predestined paths have already converged. She has arrived. Robin? <laughs> that menacing infernal fire absorbed by the vast, profound sea. And that sea surprisingly dwells on the planet of festivities. That's so... That was a great trailer as well. I'm lo This second half of trailers, I'm loving. I'm truly, truly loving. It's, it's incredible. It's making me really, really want to play the game. Because a lot of this stuff is super intriguing to me. Like, that, that er, everything about that, really. But I, I really love the sequences of her going into different... She goes into the statue, she goes into the sign, she jumps onto, like, uh, into, like, little shop windows and into paintings. I just, I think that's that's a super fun, um, fun way to do a trailer. Um, but then the story gets super engaging towards the end, and I'm just very curious about everything that's going on. Oh, I, it's great. It's really good. Okay, so this next one's called Sparkle Behind the Curtain, which excites me because, um, as if you've seen my, uh, reaction to the trailers and stuff, you would know, excuse me, I love Sparkle. Her trailer was one of my favorites. 
And um, and I loved her design. I loved her voice acting. I loved everything about her. So I can't wait to see this. Show me some good Sparkle content, please. Sparkle backstory? <laughs> She's so normal. It doesn't matter who I am off stage. <laughs> All the audience needs to know is that when I'm on stage, I'm just Sparkle. Okay, so it's not really Sparkle backstory. It's just Sparkle's alter ego. Mask. When I'm happy. You're smiling too. <laughs> when I'm angry, you're still smiling. <laughs> when I'm sad, oh, you keep on smiling. <laughs> you're like a veil that I can hide under. Mm -hmm. The one wearing the veil, that sparkle. <laughs> oh, this is great. It's you, my beloved mask. When I'm happy, you're smiling too. Yep. When I'm angry, you're screaming too. <laughs> I understand you're hiding your true emotions no matter what when you're on stage. Aww. You're like a mirror showing my reflection. <laughs> the one in the mirror. That sparkle. Oh, that's cool! I like the dichotomy there. Oh, it's going back again. They keep doing this. They did this with her first trailer as well. My beloved mask. So now this is going to be the opposite, maybe. You're screaming. Yeah. When I'm angry, you're crying. Uh-huh. When I'm sad, you're smiling. Her trailers are so creative. Like a face staring at me. I... I'm not Sparkle. I'm no. not Sparkle. I am Sparkle. So... She's insane. I life was just a play, I wanted to leave the stage. Because off stage, there's an even bigger stage. What do you say? <laughs> Who's the real sparkle? It's she she's crazy and I love it. <laughs> it's she it's such an intriguing character. It's intriguing and it makes me upset because like I get really attached to her and th there being this like dissonance between what I assume are like different personalities of hers. Um, or, you know, it's a sci-fi game, so it could even be, like, different dimension versions of her, but I'm assuming it's different personalities. Um, having sort of that dissonance that, like, creates such discord in her heart makes me very sad for her that, you know, there's, there's that, 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 um, conflict in there. And so... I get really attached because her character is so interesting, but then I also get really upset because I'm then attached to a character that's so seemingly tortured. But I love her. <laughs> I really, really love it. I mean, just... She's the best. She's the best. She's the best. I, I will not hear any anything else. She's the best. All right. Next up is Kyoden. Uh, I cleave across the transient world. Uh, I'll do it in a sec. Okay, sorry, I had to check something real quick, but now we're good. Let's go Kyoden, cleave across the transient world. Here we go. Do you still remember why Izumo forged these blades? One hell of an opening visual. Because in times past, when the Yao Yorozu no Kami descended here, they wrought death and disaster on this world and its people. Ooh. To save the world. Cool design. Izumo splintered 70,033 blades and forged them into the 12 sentinels. Oh, that's cool. Gorgeous the city. The first was truth, forged by the sovereign of revelation. <laughs> it could teach mortals the way of the law and create miracles from the deconstruction of all things. The second was sky, forged by the eternal zenith. 
It could form a barrier from the firmament and prevent the innumerable gods of misery from passing through. The third was Howl, able to summon lightning to rend the heavens and meteors to rain down the <laughs> punishment. That's awesome. The it's really cool seeing these weapons being used. Able to break earth and tear cloud with biting wind and rain. The fifth was Frost, freezing the land in an instant. The sixth was Fate, the restless cycle of life and death. That was cool. Then there was Flare, Thought, Root. Oh, there's a lot. Bind, Maw. With those sentinels, we seized on tomorrow's expectation, winning victory after victory. Until all of them were broken. Oh. The price of every victory was a world in its entirety. And in the end, that entirety was lost. And so Izumo splintered twelve sentinels and forged them into two bearers. The first okay. was Origin. Origin. The second was End. End. <laughs> origin and End. The That's sick. The world forged 70,047 blades, and only one could save Izumo. But you and I both know the road to salvation does not exist. This is awesome. There is no trace of tomorrow. Oh, I like fighting back the darkness that's encroaching. That's awesome. Humanity will eventually become Oni. We pawned everything more for the destruction of two worlds. <laughs> In times past, Takamagahara, upon which the Kami descended, was surely as beautiful as Izumo. So, do you still remember why Izumo forged these blades? Because of a lie. An end that never existed. Ooh. We long since strode into their shadow. Each step forward one that we can never walk back. Until the last blade is forged into... <laughs> That's cool. Not. Man, the visuals in this trailer are something else. They are crazy. I knew this world was fleeting. And yet. And yet. Where do they get their artists from? The fucking... France? <laughs> I don't know what I was going to improvise there. The Louvre? Like, the... The, these artists are insane. And there's so many different styles in a lot of these different trailers that you think, like, if it was just, oh, they found a visual style which looked great and they just did 50 trailers with the, that visual style, then that would be great. But they don't... All these trailers have, like, a slightly different style to them. I Do they commission new artists or do they have the same in-house artists that do everything, but they're just fucking incredibly talented at everything. Like what? It has to be different artists. They have to get in new people, right? Or at the very least, they have like several teams, I would think. I don't know, man. I mean, Mihoyo spend a fuck ton of money on their games, right? Like I think I, there's like a Wikipedia thing that is like, the most expensive games of all time. And I think Genshin Impact is the number one most expensive game of all time at like 700 million or something ridiculous like that. Um, and so they spend their money and they clearly spend it well, but geez, man. Um, was that the last one? Hold on. I, I haven't even, I haven't even checked. Am I done? Oh no, there's one more. There's one more. Um, Okay, so the next one and final one that we're doing today is If We Had Wings. I think, I think I saw Robin. I just, I clicked the, th the thumbnail real quick there, but it looked for a second like Robin, but maybe it isn't Robin. I don't know. But Robin is one of the newer, she's like one of the newest characters, right? So maybe, 
or at least one of the newer ones to be like released as a character like a playable character i think i don't know anyway let's watch it let's see i'll have the question answered for me thank you for tuning in to this interview there you go miss <laughs> robin mentioned there's my answer the music came from her mother during that disaster don't be afraid look here it's a bird oh i want to hear more of miss robin's story do you know her miss <sighs> Let me tell you all a secret. This bird knows Robin. It knows all about her. During that disaster, they're in a like Robin a war. Didn't hear anything except for the loud ringing in her ears. But she knew that her mother was singing to her. She well, this is really sad. Snuffing. She could feel her mother's breath. will be safe. And sound. She could hear that silent wish. One day, you'll step onto an even bigger stage. <laughs> even more people will hear you sing, and they'll sing with you. No, they'll sing with both of us, brother. <laughs> right. This is cute. Us. She wanted to spread that wish through song. Even, even more wishes. <sighs> the newcomer Robin now. Behind the beautiful sounds, there were noises of disharmony. Mm. Sounds of every form. Oh, unknown time. man frequents her house. Oh man, the I hate that stuff. Many followed her. Leave her alone. Oh. oh, cool disguise. She thought about fleeing, but so was she the unknown man? Her. Because the singer could never turn her back. Oh, on her audience. Man. Robin seems like a very tragic character. That others protected. I wanted to protect others. That others forgave. That wanted to forgive others. That wanted to make her wishes come true. This is so cool. I wanted to make others' wishes come true. For every self, for every wish, she couldn't give up. I want to sing on stage and sing for Miss Robin. Can my wish come true? <laughs> of course it can. Let's start now. The songs you sing, she will absolutely love them. Thank you, Miss Robin. I want to be a doctor. I want to <laughs> sing when I grow up. The fighting's almost over. <sighs> And, and she heard it. Our wish is slowly coming true. This is the end of our interview. It is reported this is really that Miss Robin has now left for Penicone. Dear friends, we hope to see you again on the planet of festivities. Wow, what a one to end on. I mean that that um that's really that was a really good trailer. <laughs> it makes me very sad. But also happy. I mean, it's it's a weird mix of... It's bittersweet. It's a very bittersweet trailer. Um, I'm going to go to discussion to do this. So I'll see you in discussion. Okay. Wow. That was... um. That was uh, really good. <laughs> that that last trailer was really crazy good. Um, I mean, yeah. It's... It, it, Robin's whole stuff, it seems like... For my, my read of her character from these trailers that we've seen is that she is genuinely a caring person who is tr doing this for the right reasons but is also struggling with the um the horrid nature of her industry as well and she's it seems like she might actually be such a pure soul that it affects her so much more 
which is really sad. I remember when I did the um, character demo trailers, a lot of you were pointing out in the Robin trailer how like there's the Morse code for SOS going throughout the, or like in, in certain parts of the video, which is just fucked up, man. Like if I had heard that, if I had heard that beeping, it's, it's very faint in the video, so I didn't hear it at the time, but if I had heard it, I would have recognized it because I do know what SOS is in, um, in Morse code because that's like the most common thing that people um, do in Morse code. It's like, that's that's SOS. And I also remember that because um, they used to be on old phones on like, I think like on Nokia phones and stuff. When you got a text message, it was, which is SMS because at some point I did learn Morse code and then I knew it for about a week. Like I learned how to do every letter in Morse code and I and I genuinely knew all of them and then I forgot them all. But I do remember M is dude dude and I remember S is dude dude dude. <laughs> so you can figure it out from there. Um, but, uh, but yeah, anyway, that was great. The Sparkle trailer, I mean, uh, I think I'm gonna give the Sparkle trailer my favorite trailer out of all, all of those actually. Like, I, I loved the um, scared girl, Hua Hua, or whatever her name is. I loved her one as well, and she's probably a close second. Um, but that Sparkle trailer was uh, incredible. I, I mean, I, I, loved, I loved a lot of those trailers. There were some that, I mean, I, there were none that I disliked. I'll tell you that much right now. Um, there were some of them that I, I struggled more to follow, but that's, that's me stuff. Um, and that I slightly cared about less, and again, me stuff, like the, the stuff that was like deep in mythology, I cared about slightly less, but any stuff that focused more on the individual characters and, um, and their position in the world, or mixed some of those individual characters with some like mild mythology stuff, I really enjoyed that stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean, there was just some excellent stuff here i want to play this game so so badly i want to be in the fandom i'm i and i will be i'm going to be okay i'm i am going to play this game no matter what it just depends on if i play it on this channel or not and that depends on if you guys support these videos and then want me to play it on this channel which some of you have said that you are interested in seeing it so um if you definitely are just keep those comments coming and keep supporting the videos um just so that i definitely know and also so that you know i know it will be worth worth it because i imagine i'm gonna be like recording for a while and then editing it down and it takes quite a long time to do that so um so you know to know that the videos are gonna get traction um helps me do it so um make sure to support the video but thank you so much for joining me for this video um yeah an hour an hour long i mean that i didn't expect that to take an hour but it did um, but I really enjoyed it. It was a very quick hour for me. Thank you so much for joining me. Make sure to support the video if you can. I have a Patreon account if you want to get all of my uh, content in full length version, early access, exclusive videos for both this channel and my Gent Watches One Piece channel. Um, but otherwise, thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.